Future Shock is here on the Movie Channel. Hello there, I'm Michelle Russell, and with us tonight is Frank Zappa, our host for a week-long look at Hollywood's predictions. Up first, Future Shock Week begins with Jonathan Price and Robert De Niro in Brazil. And then at 11.30, the future is in the streets with The Warriors, a rock and roll action thriller. There's also Murder Ahead when the runner stumbles. That's at 3 a.m. 2 central on VCR Theater. And now a man with definite opinions about new concepts and original ideas, Frank Zappa. This next movie must have made you a happy man. Yes, it certainly did. This is one of my favorite films. You know, Terry Gilliam does not make your ordinary Hollywood movie. Instead, his films are filled with exploding fat people, marauding midgets, and rabbits biting people's heads off. Imagine his surprise then when the studio bosses at Universal thought Brazil, his tale of deception, fascism, and brain death, had an unpleasant ending. It was also too long. In the never-ending quest for shortened attention spans, they asked him to cut out a half an hour here or there. You wouldn't be seeing this film now, except that a group of movie critics in L.A. voted it the best of 1985, based on the previews. It forced Universal to release the film the way it is, cynical, amusing, and extraordinary. Let's join our hero now as he battles ignorance and the foes of imagination in Brazil. Rated R for repression. The Movie Channel. Good evening, I'm Michelle Russell. We've got Frank Zappa in the studio to guest host our Future Shock Week. Tonight, we'll follow the monolith road with Roy Scheider in 2010. Then at 11 o'clock, we'll travel back into the past with The Love Goddesses, a history of sex in the cinema. And don't forget VCR Theater. That, once again, is 3 a.m. 2 Central. Tonight, we've got Woody Allen's cosmic comedy, Love and Death. And now I am very pleased to introduce Frank Zappa, composer and social commentator. Why, thank you, Michelle. VCR Theater, huh? Why watch television when you can have a machine do it for you? And for that matter, why solve the problems of the world when you can get some alien to do it for you? For years, these celestial creeps have been tainting our airwaves, and you know who I'm talking about, eating our brains and stealing our women. It's about time they did something for us. Stanley Kubrick put them on their good behavior in 1968 with 2001, The Space Odyssey. And just in case the ending of that one was too confusing for you, those creative minds in Hollywood made tonight's sequel. It takes place on the brink of World War III. The superpowers are bickering over weapons testing in some dinky Central American country. Just keep telling yourself it's only a movie. 2010, or 2010, or 2010 is rated PG, so it's okay for your parents to watch. Welcome to the Movie Channel, the only network that guarantees a different movie every night at 9 o'clock. Hello there, I'm Michelle Russell, and in just a moment, Frank Zappa will continue hosting our week-long presentation of Future Shock. Tonight, we'll examine a prediction that came and went, or did it, 1984, starring John Hurt and Richard Burton. Then at 11 o'clock, Bo Bridges tracks a nun killer in The Runner Stumbles. And now, I hand the crystal ball to Frank Zappa, composer and social commentator. Thanks, Michelle. Back in 1948, George Orwell wrote 1984 as a warning to all of us right-thinking, English-speaking citizens. He seemed to think that under certain conditions of fear and repression, any kind of public brainwashing was possible. Pretty silly idea, huh? Just by making certain words illegal, you can rule an empire. This film also features a great soundtrack by Eurythmics and their single, Sex Crimes. You know, the record they couldn't get released because of the nasty title. By the way, if you tape this movie and run it backwards in slow motion, you can read the secret message which says, Star Wars doesn't kill germs. It may be 1986 now, but this nightmare can happen anytime, and it can happen here. It can happen here, 1984, rated R. Welcome back to the Movie Channel and the Thursday night edition of Future Shock Week. Hi there, I'm Michelle Russell, and our guest host, Frank Zappa, is going to join us in just a few moments. But first, let's look at what's ahead. Charlton Heston faces the consequences of biological warfare as the Omega Man. And then at 11 o'clock, visit Brazil with Jonathan Price and Robert De Niro. And of course, we've got VCR Theater. That's 2 a.m., 3 central. That's actually 3 a.m., 2 central. We're going to run 2010, starring Hal the Computer. And now, Frank Zappa, a man who has definite opinions about the First Amendment. That's entirely too correct, Michelle. Thank you very much. Okay. 
In Omega Man, chemical warfare has turned everyone in Los Angeles into spaced out, blood-sucking mutants. It's the communist's fault, of course. Well, it takes a real man like Charlton Heston to see that something's out of the ordinary, so he starts killing as many of these people as possible. But it's not all fun and games, and he does have to endure a certain amount of third world sex. Close your eyes and think of America, Chuck. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, Star Wars does not, repeat, does not kill germs. Now the Omega Man rated PG for Gene Pool backwards. Our special thanks to Mr. Randy Newman for hosting that one. Coming up, Frank Zappa is going to be here to guest host our finale to Future Shock Week, Enemy Mind, starring Lou Gossett as you have never seen him before, that is covered in scales. Ah, yes, it is the season to be jolly, and the Movie Channel has a very special giveaway to make you a very happy person. Lucky. Welcome to the Movie Channel, where you see a different movie every night at 9 o'clock. Hi there, I'm Michelle Russell. Frank Zappa is here and ready to bring you the finale of Future Shock Week. Lou Gossett and Dennis Quaid star in Enemy Mine. And then at 11 o'clock, Joe Bob Briggs puts on, and I mean puts on, his critic hat to host drive-in theater. Our feature tonight is Nana. And make sure that your VCR is set for VCR Theater. That's 3 a.m. to Central. Diane Keaton and Albert Finney star in Shoot the Moon. And now composer and social commentator Frank Zappa. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Now it's time for the big one. Enemy Mine takes place in the far distant future. And surprises come thick and fast. Dennis Quaid is the Earthling marooned on an alien planet. Lou Gossett is a creature trapped along with him who looks like a cross between an iguana with a serious dry skin condition and your mother's alligator purse. Not someone you would pick out of a crowd to buddy around with. But like all good science fiction, the movie is really an allegory about people in general. In this case, people learning to survive with those who are different from them. So get ready for the unexpected when Future Shock Week concludes with Enemy Mine, rated PG-13.